I have to accept the fact that I've done something that the vast majority of the world would see as being a hate symbol, and that's not who I am. And I don't want to be viewed that way. Hi, I'm Don, and I'd like to tell you the story of how I got a Confederate flag tattoo and why I'm getting it removed. The first time I saw it was probably 40 years ago when I was like two or three. It was on the top of a 69 Charger on the Dukes of Hazard, which was one of the coolest cars on TV ever. And uh, I know I've got pictures of myself and my brother dressed up as the Dukes, as the Dukes of Hazard for Halloween. It was never something that was viewed uh, in my life as being a hate symbol. For us, it wasn't a symbol of the Confederacy and, and the uh, you know and slavery and whatnot. It was a rebel flag, and that's how we saw it was a rebel flag. And also, I was born in 1977. Star Wars came out, and the rebels were the good guys. It didn't connect with me that this was a bad thing until much later in life. Even in high school, you know, you're you know to, you learn about the Confederacy and all this, and slavery was a major part of this, but it was never expressed in such a fashion that this was essentially the American equivalent of the swastika. Up until last year, you know, the Confederate flag was still flown at every NASCAR race everywhere. It was probably more prominent than the American flag was. So this is session two for Don. Session one's usually like a desaturation, start the breakdown process, and then once we start the breakdown process, we go in, shatter the ink particle down a little bit more each time. Uh, average tattoo removal takes probably around eight to 10 sessions for full removal. Just because I wasn't educated on it didn't mean it didn't exist. And I, I guess I just lost out on the, con the idea that a flag is more than just a, a piece of cloth. It actually is a symbol. It represents something. And for a lot of people, this is representative of an idea that a group of people are not good enough. That they aren't as equal as everyone else. I keep a shirt on now that I know better to prevent anyone from being upset by this, to be offended by this. I don't want to put that energy out into the world. I don't want to be doing that to people. So I've been, yeah, the last few years, I wear a shirt continuously. Right now, she's not old enough to understand any of this. And at some point in time, she will be. She'll understand that there's evil in the world, there's hatred in the world. So I would rather get this removed so that she never has to sit there in front of her class of friends and explain that her father has a hate symbol on him. She shouldn't have to pay for more of my mistakes than Shardy does. So I'm not gonna put her through that. How are you? You're good, are you? Good. How's everything healing? Looks you looking good? good? Yep, good. very impressive. Perfect. Even if they've already decided to make the change and emotionally and just in their lifestyle they've already changed, um, removing that imagery is a huge part of that process. And given the fact that they've now removed this from their physical being, it really does have a profound impact on like who they are and what they put out there in the, in the world. I, I know that there are people out there in a similar situation that I am that have gotten some tattoo that they, at the time, thought was something that represented who they were. And later on, life changes and it doesn't represent you anymore. Don't wait until it becomes a bigger problem for you. Don't wait until it's too late to address it. If you're not comfortable with something, if you think you've done something that you shouldn't have on you, deal with it now. <laughs> 